Hello, it's Johnny Boy. Today I'm going to show you a boat AI script that will make boats follow their waypoints exactly. Uh, unfortunately, boat AI, when they're in narrow rivers, uh, they always get confused and they, they might be able to go it very slowly for a couple of turns in a river, but then they always stop and get confused. But uh, with this, I love Prairie Fryer, by the way. I think everybody should get it. It's a great DLC. And uh, all these rivers are awesome, and the Mekong Delta is awesome, so I really want boats to navigate it, so I created this, and uh, let's see what happens. Here we have a simple set of waypoints. We're all familiar with waypoints. Uh, he's going to move up river, make these turns. He's going to move to the beach right here, and then do a get out and run. So... That's a pretty normal set of waypoints. I guarantee you that uh, Vanilla AI would have difficulty doing that, but we'll show you that uh, it can work. Here's the call to my script. So as a mission creator, you just have to make waypoints, and then you have to put a call in to my script, and it looks like this. So by default, there's only one parameter, which is the vehicle itself, and uh, there is a... Uh, an assumption, a default value for the second parameter, which is zero, and that signals the uh, script that uh, to do the speed to each waypoint based on the speed selected at the waypoint itself. So we have limited speed, normal speed, full speed. So uh, my script takes into account each waypoint's setting here, but you could override it. So for this boat's maximum speed happens to be 30, so I could go like that, and uh, it would ignore the settings of each waypoint and just, you know, make the force the boat to go 30 through all of them. For this example, we're just going to go follow the waypoint speed, which is the default. Um, for limited, I'm going 25% of whatever the max speed for that particular boat vehicle is. For normal, I'm going 50% of the max speed for that particular vehicle. These VC boats, the max speed is 30, so that's 15 kilometers per hour for normal. And uh, for full speed, I'm going 75% of the maximum speed for the vehicle. Why not 100%? the true maximum speed because I'm reserving that for when they switch into combat mode I want them to be able to go faster to escape or you know to evade getting shot so full speed is 75 percent of max speed of the boat anyway let's watch this guy go up river and uh, everybody's gonna jump out and run into the jungle <laughs> And I'm not the character in that guy, so I gotta start over. Sorry about that. Let's play as somebody in this particular boat as a passenger. This is a pretty long uh, <laughs> video, a lot to show, and I'm trying to do it in one shot so I don't have to edit it. Okay, I also have uh, all the Vietnamese set to speaking Chinese, and so Prairie Fry doesn't actually have Vietnamese voices. And as an ignorant American guy, uh, that's close enough. I at least want to hear them talking instead of just hearing the squelch. All right, he's following the waypoints. I think he's at a normal speed or full speed right here. And he's going to execute a turn. The waypoints are set up so that he actually starts executing the turn 15 meters before he gets there, so he's going to start turning now, not actually at that point next to the shore. So you have to keep that into account when you're setting the waypoints. That way we can make smooth turns to avoid getting uh, beached. So you'll have to tweak your waypoints to make sure the boat can actually execute the turns. And uh, that was a close turn, but he made it. I gotta say, these units in here look great, Prairie Fryer. I really, uh, really, really like this DLC. The quality's really good, and the map's amazing. All right, he's gonna make this one last turn, and then he's gonna go to that beach. So I set the move boy point to be up on the beach. Why? I want the boat to be beached. So when the guys jump out, they don't swim around for a few minutes before they run off, which is super annoying with, you know, typical vanilla AI when they get out of the boat. So everybody's going to get out. And uh, one guy decided to go in the water anyway. But for the most part, 
We're not spending time waiting for guys to swim. They're going to run off. So that's that. That was a simple move up, get out. Let's see something more interesting. Okay. Here I've got multiple VC boats going up this river, and there's an island in the middle of the river. So some of the boats are going to go clockwise around the river. Two boats will go clockwise. Two boats will circle the river counterclockwise. There's cycle waypoints, so uh, my script respects the waypoints. So they're going to move up here, and when they come all the way around the river, they'll hit a cycle waypoint, and then they'll circle this island forever based on the cycle waypoint. <laughs> One boat is going to come across and uh, move to the beach and do a get out, and then they're going to run up the up the uh, within the island itself to search and destroy. I have some uh, Blue 4 American units here so there will be some shooting when the boats come around the corner and when these guys run up through the island and we'll see how boats react to fire. And also I've got two American boats up here that are uh, waiting for a trigger and they have their own waypoints that will go down a circle so we'll see some boat to boat warfare. So these guys are sitting waiting for a trigger. Just set up here for the first uh, VC to encounter that trigger. That'll start these guys following their waypoints and they will join the fight. Uh, there's a combat reactions I have set up within this. So normally boards are cruising around. They're probably in aware mode. And uh, once they get shot at, they go into combat mode. When they go into combat mode, uh, multiple crew members are going to shout out various uh, vanilla arma things like enemy spotted or uh, things like that or you know they swear uh, get down take cover that sort of thing which is great for immersion and there's a 25 percent chance they'll fire off a smoke shell that that's uh, they'll drop in the back of the boat so that uh, as they're trying to uh, move away from danger there'll be a smoke trail behind them and it will obscure them there's a 25 percent chance of that happening Let's see what happens. I got an observer guy over here. Let's see if he's the player. And he is. So let's watch. Okay. So we see this VC squad. They're going to board that boat. They're following waypoints. They're going to get in that boat. And they're going to take off. Note that the boat is facing in towards the shore. Have you ever seen an AI driven boat back away from the shore? Go in reverse. And the answer is you have not. But with this script, they will. And uh, of course, one dummy had to go swimming before he got in. I guess it's hot out. These other VC boats are waiting. There's a trigger out there saying until these guys get moving forward. Uh, greater than five kilometers per hour they're not going to start moving but once uh, that happens they will start moving I have no idea what's going on with those guys over there <laughs> anyway we can ignore that okay he's moving forward now and uh, all these other boats are now kicking through their going through their waypoints so uh, these two boats are going to go left around the island my mouse is not cooperating there we go. And these other boats go around to the right, and let's get on a boat. All right, we're in the lead boat. That boat to the right back there is the boat that's going to go up to this island ahead, and they're going to get out and run up, and then they're going to go on shore to attack. This other boat's following the same, behind us is following the exact same waypoints we are to go around the island counterclockwise. Those two boats are going to make a left over into that channel and go around the island clockwise. Now, these AI, once they're fired on, they're going to react verbally. Like two or three of them are going to shout out, enemy spotted, get down, incoming fire, stuff like that. Using the uh, vanilla Arma sounds in whatever language they happen to be. My guys are set to be Chinese right now. If they're English, you'd hear it in English. That boat behind us reacted. These guys haven't reacted yet. There we go. All right, they reacted, and the fight's on. So, the driver. Right, 
let's see what the American boats are doing. They've been activated. They're coming up. When they react to combat, you'll hear the American voices react. And see this bridge here? Well, it won't bother them. They're going to sail right through it perfectly. So they have not seen any enemy yet. They're following their waypoints. Okay, we have an enemy boat approaching, so they will react to that boat as soon as they spot it. Saw some uh, boat on boat combat. The boats are going fast now because they're in combat mode. Let's see what other boat action we got. Yep. One of the American boats is still alive and they're still cruising. dead guy in the boat. That's okay, he's fresh, he won't start stinking it up till a couple hours. Alright, they're still firing the waypoints. He's got a cycle waypoint, he'll circle the island. But you get the idea. We can now have uh, boat on boat combat. We can have quick reaction force. We have boats coming up a river based on triggers. We can have boats accurately you know, transport and deliver alright so that all made sense so I'm going to show you one last thing So this map has, like Isla Douala, tons of rivers, and uh, I think it's awesome. So we can make maximum uh, use of them now. So here is a single boat with waypoints going up the Mekong Delta River, going a long ways up. And uh, there's one boat with waypoints, but you see I've got like eight other boats here, nine other boats. Here's another uh, PT boat, a PT boat. Only one of them has the waypoint path defined, but they can all share it because of the copy waypoint command, this trigger is going to, for each of those other eight bo boats, they're going to copy the waypoints and then run. And they're going to do a more complicated call to the exact same script, which is uh, the second parameter is the speed. And if it's zero, it's going to follow the waypoint speed, which is based on the max speed of, uh, divided by, you know, 25% for limited, 50% for normal, 75% for full. So that's what the zero would do. Um, or you can give it an, a uh, specific speed, which means for the entire set of waypoints, regardless of how they're defined of, of limited, full, or normal, it will go 30 the whole way. But there's also the third parameter, which we haven't seen, which is a an offset of left and right. So it's an X offset of uh, follow the exact same way, waypoints, but move if it's negative, seven meters to the left of it. Or if it's positive, in this case, move eight meters to the right. That means you could have two boats following the exact same waypoints being right next to each other, but parallel. So one boat could be eight meters to the right of the other boat going up, up river. Uh, what this allows us to do is have, you know, tons of boats moving up river, but at, at different positions. But, I, but only had to define the path one time. That means we could populate these rivers with a lot of boats without a lot of work. I think you get the idea. So I have an observer boat here that I'm going to become player of. 
and we can watch all these boats following the same waypoints however they're going at different speeds and they're going at different x offsets so some are going to the left of the waypoint path some are going to the right of the waypoint path they're not colliding they're all cruising up river okay i have a trigger to start all these guys to go start mekong flotilla so now all these boats are going to start going and they're going to follow the same waypoints the waypoints actually belong to that big uh, pt boat up there but some guys are Boats are going to the left, some goats are going to the right, they're all going different speeds. We have another uh, PT boat back here that's actually set to go very fast. So he's going to pass all these other boats, but he's going to do it without crushing them because they're not following the exact same path. Some are going to the right, some are going to the left. Let's watch uh, the big PT boat kind of plow through these boats. If he does hit somebody directly, he could run them over, but this guy might get bumped. He got bumped. But he survived. <laughs> He's probably a little mad and scared. Alright, that PT bow went right through. But all these little VC civilian boats are cruising along and they're going parallel to each other at different speeds. So now we can populate these rivers with tons of traffic civilian traffic, military traffic, whatever. If they see enemies, they'll engage. Uh, if I set up a similar set of waypoints going south, we would see boats coming at us, and they could all be, you know, so boats could be going all directions. Some could be going off on the tributaries to the right, to the left. Some could be waiting to be triggered until the player was near. Uh, sky's the limit, like with any waypoints. So, I think uh, this really opens up possibilities on this fantastic map that has tons of rivers and uh, Mekong Delta tributaries, so. That's it, man. I think this is going to be very useful. I hope somebody makes some great missions with it. Take care. Bye.